Hello everyone, Jace here. So Konami's announced the upcoming events for t uh, next month, which is going to be August. So let's check them out and I'll be explaining the stuff that isn't super clear. Uh, so first up, uh, Yu-Gi-Oh! World Championships for Duel Links is August 4th to August 6th. Uh, so my time zone is uh, Central currently. So that's bas based off my time zone. So I think that's going to be at 23. That's counting like 2300 maybe. I'm not sure though. Uh, but it says on the official like website for the World Championship event that's actually August 5th and August 6th. But that's uh, JST. So I'm not actually sure exactly when uh, the times are. But I'll be sure to stream uh, both Duel Links and Master Duel and uh, TCG OCG. If, if they all aren't all at the same time because I don't know how I'll figure out. I'll figure out something. I'm not sure how I'll do it if they're all at the same time. But I'll figure out something for that. But next up... Uh, is the actual events. Uh, so Turbo Duel is coming up again, so it's just PvP, uh, whatever. I, I'm really sick of PvP events, honestly. After after that last Action Duel event of this month, uh, that was just really not fun. But the rewards this time are also not super great, I'm gonna be honest. If you're, if you're gonna skip a month, you might as well skip this month. Uh, so the re rewards are Rampaging Smash Tank Rhino Saber, so it's just generic, uh, one tuner, one non-tuner, level seven synchro. Uh, you can discard any number of cards. This card gains 700 attack for each card discarded at the end of the battle. Uh, oh, separate clause. At the end of the battle phase, if this card battled, you can send this card to the graveyard. Uh, special summon monsters from your graveyard whose total levels equal seven, except itself, but their effects are negated, and you can only use this uh, each effect once per turn. Uh, so, it's really, it's an okay generic 7, uh, pro probably not better than any of our current uh, options, but can get really, really big, I guess, because it, it just, you can discard any number of cards, uh, but not super great. Uh, next card, uh, actually, and also has a 2400 attack and 2100 defense, which are pretty good stats for a level 7 synchro, but it's still not, it's still not uh, the best uh, card. Next up is X Saber Pashul. So this is an effect warrior effect tuner monster. Uh, so it's part of the X Saber archetype, which does give it some synergy. Uh, it's also level two. Uh, so this card cannot be destroyed by battle. Uh, that seems pretty good. But during each of your opponent's standby phase, you take 1,000 damage. Uh, you must control this card in face of defense position to activate it to resolve this effect. Uh, so yeah, no, this is really bad. Uh, I guess you could set it once, and it's just a battle thing. It protects you from one battle, but then you're gonna keep taking 1,000 damage per turn. Oh wait, uh, that's pre that's pre Duel Links uh, the burn nerf, so it's actually 500 damage. Uh, that doesn't make it any better, really. Uh, it's the the uh, free free rewards for most of these events have not been super great. Uh, Tour Guide Mission Bingo, which is pretty generic. Uh, next up, full speed ahead, the Turbo Duelist Yugo gets rerun, and it's coming with a brand new skill, uh, Speedroid Gear Changer. So this has already been leaked. Uh, Speedro Speedroid Gear Changer uh, says, can be used dur during a turn on which you have not special summoned any monsters. Send one Speedroid monster you control to the graveyard, and then add one Speedroid monster whose original level is one higher or lower than that monster from your hand to from your deck, and you cannot special summon during the turn you activate the skill, except for synchro summoning. Uh, so one problem is that that means you can't special summon at all, so except for synchro summoning. But the problem is, uh, how are you gonna get two monsters on the field to synchro summon without already with without special summoning? So yeah, no, this is this skill is just really bad. Uh, like the current the current speedroid skill is already just way better anyway. So there's really no point to getting the skill. Uh, it depends on what el what other rewards we'll get for the rerun, they, th which they'll announce later. But they don't usually announce those really early. Uh, also, legacy duels will also be happening mid-August. Uh, so yeah, great. Uh, that that last legacy duel event was just not fun. Uh, I played a lot of it because I already had the uh, Destiny Hero deck. Because uh, it's not super hard to build. Uh, just won the structure deck because that gives you three drill darks and uh, two Celestials, and the uh, the Ciders are uh, Trader uh, cards, but other than that, uh, it was not fun playing Destiny Heroes all the event. That deck was just way too powerful. They're probably going to nerf it more, hopefully, 
Uh, actually, it says Legacy Duels. It doesn't add the GX at the end. So maybe it's just uh, Duel Monsters. But I don't think that's what's going to happen. But maybe. Or it could just be bad translation. Because they have badly translated before on these announcements. Uh, Mission Circuit, which is just generic. Uh, Zone coming to Gate. That's pretty good for if you miss the uh, Time Lord event. Uh, Time Lord's a pretty decent uh, ladder deck. And next, and next, the next legendary duelist is gonna be um, Alito, which we had roaming this uh, this month. So it's not a huge surprise that they're having him be the next legendary duelist. And Duel Link's mission research to round out the uh, month. Uh, so yeah, overall this uh, month is probably not gonna be super fun. Uh, I didn't really think this uh, July was super fun either, but like, there's really not anything too too exciting here. Uh, I guess there are fans of battling boxers out there that might be a fun deck. I'm not sure. Lead, it could mean Lead Yolk coming out, which uh, Lead Yolk is really good for uh, battling boxers. Uh, they also recently released a new battling boxers supporting the OCG, but I don't think we'll get that quite yet since it's not even out in the TCG. Uh, but yeah, otherwise this this month, this August month is probably not super exciting. Uh, it's probably just going to be World Championship news that's going to be out and Alito at the end, which might be noteworthy. But yeah, that's it for this uh, announcement. Comment down below what you think of August's uh, Duel Links events. I'll see you guys later. Bye.